there is what we call the unfinished symphony i don't know how many of you heard about that unfinished symphony it was written in austria 1822 by franz schubert it has only few sheets and is also known as eighth symphony in b minor there is only one there are very few sheets probably the person who started writing it couldn't finish it he left it <coughs> half way through many time people start their work and don't finish it that's a human weakness many time we also do that we start something with enthusiastic way but in the half way through you we lose interest and stop doing it but here we see jesus christ as he was hanging on the cross boldly said it's finished it's a word of victory it's a word of victory he didn't say that in the sense that okay my stupid life in this world is over it's finished my agony pain and suffering is over appa mundichu no he didn't say that in that way <clears throat> he said it in a victorious tone because as some scholars interpreted it the word that we see in the scripture it is tetelestai it's a greek word tetelestai it's finished is over and they said it in a happy mood and they give a small uh, illustrative uh, events some people i'm sorry choir you are <laughs> hearing it again <laughs> i told them at the 9 o'clock uh, service see <clears throat> in different contexts people use this word tetelestai to express the joy for example a person a painter he starts painting and he completes the painting <coughs> sorry after completing it he will throw the brush it seems and say tetelestai is finished or another example that is given is a shepherd who takes care of the sheep who loves the sheep and whenever the mother sheep will deliver it will have his own pain and agony so your good shepherd your loving shepherd will sit beside the mother sheep it seems and it will he will stroke it and assure that his presence is there and after the pain and agony the sheep will give birth to your lamb when the lamb comes out the shepherd will shout tetelestai it's over it's over the pain and agony is over now you are given birth to your lamb now again the businessman in the context of businessman <clears throat> he also sits and tallies his account at the end of his financial year and as he works on his accounts sometimes he will get stuck with some figures so he will get upset uh, upset and then he works on it day and night and tallies the whole thing and when he finishes the account when he makes the statement of account he will say tetelestai now this is the word that jesus used when he uttered it is finished he made it a word of joy it's finished what is finished not the agony and pain but the purpose for which he came has finished father's will is accomplished the work of salvation is finished now you remember the parable of the banquet the king will prepare a banquet and he will call people to come and participate in the marriage feast 
and he will send servants and ask them to tell the guests ask them to come everything is ready everything is ready they just have to simply come and eat it that's all the same thing jesus told that parable with regard to our salvation everything is ready you don't have to do anything you simply come and believe you accept the invitation and come and have this feast you will enjoy this feast you don't have to do anything now as indians we all know what people do in order to gain forgiveness and removal of curse now many a time you will see people going to far away places pilgrimage they go to ganges they want to take a dip so that all the sins will be forgiven sometimes you will see people rolling on the road sometimes you will see people piercing the tongues sometimes they will have some hook on the body and they will pull the little weighty objects now when i went to tirthani <coughs> and a gospel team i saw people in tirthani that the temple is on the mountain and they were rolling upwards rolling upwards and sometimes they will have this cavity you know that uh, beam and other things they will have it on their shoulder and roll it's easy to roll down from the mountain but it's very difficult to roll and move up the mountain people are doing that why when i asked the elders they said there must be some curse in the family they would have done something in their life in order to get rid of the sins they are doing all these things dear brothers and sisters in christ you don't have to do that people don't have to do that Yes that's a good news for them then who is going to tell them missionaries came and told them many of them got converted now who is going to tell them probably you cannot go and tell them at that time but if you have friends you can talk to them when they come to you and share the burdens when they share with you that they have to do all these things then you can tell them you don't have to do anything you simply believe you will receive god's salvation you simply believe that jesus died for you all your sins would be forgiven there is a missionary a story from the missionary's life in tutukudi as we were doing ministry among the fishermen community he met a person called sambu and he was a pearl diver so the missionary was very much interested in the pearls also so he he made friends with this person a pearl diver and they became very friends and time and again the missionary used to tell him that jesus died for all your sins and you don't have to do anything you simply accept but he didn't listen how can i simply accept the forgiveness from god i have to do something you tell me what to do i will do it even if it is the most difficult thing i will do it because in our religion you have to do something in order to aim gain forgiveness you have to do something in order to receive blessing that's the kind of thing that he believed so whenever the missionary asked him to believe in jesus christ he refused then finally a day came and the person invited the missionary for a meal and when the missionary went there he saw many relatives and the missionary asked him what is the occasion and he said see i am going on a long pilgrimage 
pilgrimage. Now I am taking leave or bidding farewell to my relatives. They all have come to have a meal with me and bid farewell. They are here because I don't know whether I will come back or not. I may die on my way or when I come back, I may not see them. So I ask them to come for this meal. I am going to say farewell to them. And I asked you to come so that I could say, I can bid farewell to you also and go on my pilgrimage. Then again the missionary told him about Jesus Christ. You don't have to do all these things. Jesus died for you. Just simply accept him. Then the person did not accept what the missionary said. But he brought a small wooden box and gave the box to the missionary. When the missionary opened it, he saw a big pearl, very big pearl. And the missionary was amazed. And when Sambu said, this is a gift for you, the missionary said, no, 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 no. You should not give it free. I'll give you some money. I cannot pay the full amount. I know this is costly. I know the value of this, but I'll give you something. Then Sambu said, you don't know what you're talking. You cannot pay money for this. Why? He said, see, this is my son's life. My son is also a diver. He went in one day and died in the sea. When people went and picked his body, he heard this, he had this pearl in his hands. That was my only son. I lost him. So whenever I see this pearl, I see my son. This is my son's life. Can you fix a value for my son's life? No. I cannot take money for my son's life. I'm giving it to you free. Then it stuck in the mind of a missionary. See, this is the time I should tell the gospel. Dear Sambu, I just did what you are trying to do. All along I've been telling you that God's salvation is free. God's forgiveness is free. And you wanted to pay something. You want to do something. Now I did the same thing. I did the same mistake. I know you cannot fix a price for your son's blood or your life. That's why you are giving it free. In the same way, the salvation of the father is free. Because that costed him his own son's life. You cannot fix the value for the salvation that Jesus gives you. That's why in Isaiah we read, Oh, come, all those who are thirsty, drink. All those who are hungry, eat. Without cost, without price. Sometimes we try to give something to God in order to gain something from Him. No, you cannot bargain with God. You cannot bargain with God. Lord, I will do this. I'll get involved in this ministry. I'll come to the church regularly. Give me this. No. You cannot bargain with God. It's free. The work of salvation is finished. You simply believe in it and accept it. Enjoy it. Let's pray. Loving God, we thank you for finishing the work of our salvation. Thank you, it is free. But you paid the cost for us. You suffered for our salvation. Yes, Lord. The salvation that we receive costed your beloved son, Jesus Christ. So you cannot fix a price for that. 
help us not to give you anything in return for your blessing or for your salvation forbid it o lord forbid it so that we come to, we can come to you and receive the salvation free of cost and enjoy it in jesus name we pray amen